ันเต็มเทนอุสอันเพ่แม้ไม่ได้เทนนักเขียนเพลงคุณอิมแม่จะเล่นเพลงเธอ Hello and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, and welcome back if you've been here before. Um, today we're going to be doing another house update. Yes. So, <laughs> if you have been following along our little journey of upgrading our build a grade home, um, you've known that you know that we've done a few rooms so far. Um, and now today we're going to be moving on to the kids' bathroom. So I saw on Pinterest. Um, a few things that I really liked and wanted to kind of incorporate in their bathroom just to make it a little bit more functional and also make it look good. Um, so one thing being, I want to do a board and batten accent wall on this wall, removing the towel bar and putting um, hooks up. So that shouldn't be too hard. Um, we've done board and batten walls in what, three rooms now? <laughs> It's kind of our thing right now, but um, so yeah, I want to do that and then on the other wall behind the toilet I want to add some shelving just so that they can have a little bit more storage um, They do have a nice size vanity in here. That's not changing if anything. I'll add some hardware to it um, but that'll be pretty much all I do for the vanity and Yeah, so I just want to make this a really cute little bathroom for the kids. I'm probably not changing too much of the decor because if you know us, you know that we like to do things on a budget. So I'm going to try to avoid buying anything that I really don't need. And plus, I kind of still like the decor that's in here, especially for the summertime because it's like really nice, vibrant, um, fun little pattern. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and get started doing that. I'm going to try to do some of this while Evan isn't home. <laughs> So we'll see because normally, you know, it's a team effort. We tag team things, but I think I can get a few things done. Um, when, while he's not here, I can probably, I know I can get the vertical boards going. Um, don't know about the horizontal board because um, we're using scrap wood. So we're using wood from the other projects that we've done. So I need to see if I can find a piece that's like, exact which i doubt but i don't really want to use the saw when he's not here because yeah normally one of us is holding the board down because we you know have to raise them up but anyway uh we're gonna go ahead and get started on this project we're also probably going to run to target because i need to get the shelf and i need to get the hooks as well if i can find them there if i can't then i'll probably just order something on amazon and hope that they get here kind of quickly but anyway oh and for a paint color I'm just going to use white. So <laughs> hopefully this does not backfire. But yeah, because I'm only doing half the wall. So and their bathroom is predominantly gray and white. So we'll just incorporate some pops of color through decor. But anyway, hope you guys stick around and follow me along as I do this little simple bathroom upgrade. And hopefully I can help you all out. Um, I'll definitely stick in some of the inspiration photos that I saw. Um, and yeah. Stick around and let's go ahead and get started. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action. What we can be, life with no distractions. We'll get away. This is what we waited for. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. We can't miss out. I'm done living life with the lights out. Die with my own doubts. Be free with me. Let's go. Let's be free. 
All right, so now that everything is all nice and clean, where I'm gonna be working, I'm gonna go ahead and start bringing the wood in and hoping for the best. <laughs> so uh, yeah, y'all wish me luck with this because I really, really hope that this wood fits in here and I don't have to cut anything, but who knows? I probably will have to cut something, but we're gonna go ahead and get started and see what we can knock out before we run to Target. Moment of truth. Let's see. Uh, oh, it's too short. So we're in medium Put one of these. Okay, so. Alright, so as you can see board is too short <sighs> it's too short so luckily these are these are the same uh width so i just have to have a piece cut it and just do yeah that's easy enough though that's easy enough um let's see what i want to do oops okay so we have the towel bar down, and now I'm going to kind of play with this. Let me let me do. This. All right, so here's what I have so far. That's with four. Um, let's measure and see how much space we have between each one. So from the wall. Here. 
So I'm doing 15 inches right now. Um, just because I like the way that looks. And I do think that one might be, this one may be. Mm, that one is. <laughs> so I'm running into, not really an issue, but um, this one is a couple inches shorter than the rest of them. Where is it? No, it's not. Uh, let's have it. I must have it leaning. Because they're all, they all should be the same height. And then we'll do 15 from here. Well, all right, and then hopefully this is about 15, just over 15. Okay, so I actually think that that will, will work. This side is just a little bit over 15, but I don't think that it will look bad. So, okay, so we're gonna go with that for now. Um, <laughs> Like I said, there's, yeah, like I'm not a professional at all. I just do what kind of, what I think is gonna look good. So let's hope. So if any of these are a little bit shorter, then I can use some wood filler because I don't have to do these holes anyway from the tile bar. And um, yeah, that should be fine. So I think I'm gonna do, am I gonna do four hooks? I don't know. I'm, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, let's see if I can find my inspiration picture and I'll show that to you real quick. Pinterest has so much. Okay, so yeah, so theirs is pretty much the same as ours. And I might even, uh, sorry, the glare on the ring light, but this is my inspiration picture. Um, so I actually might, cause they have a smaller space on either side of the last one. So maybe I'll do that. Let's try that. Let's go about half the distance. And then spread these middle two out. So let's try for, all right, I'm gonna go seven inches instead of 15. Let's do seven. But I don't, so the only reason I don't really like that is because my last one would be very close to the end of the door. So I think I'm just gonna stick with what I have. Cause I don't want that to be like right behind the door where it gets hit, especially if I'm gonna put a hook there. And honestly, yeah, I think that's fine. Cause really the only reason that there would be more than the two tiles is if we have guests. So it's not like there is permanently gonna be four tiles or whatever in here. So, okay, let's go ahead and attempt to get to nailing. So I haven't used the, the nailer by myself. <laughs> so yeah, this is a, definitely an experience. All right, let's get to it. We have our nail gun ready to go. I already turned it on. So <laughs> let's, y'all wish me luck because I'm a little bit nervous right now, like seriously nervous right now. And then here's Daisy trying to be nosy, trying to see what's going on. But okay, I got my leveler on here, so let's go. Oh my gosh. I don't know why, like I, I've watched so many YouTube videos on this, but I'm still nervous because I don't mess it up. <laughs> I don't wanna mess it up. All right, y'all. We are going in with the first nail. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully. Um, hopefully it actually goes and works. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Oh my gosh, 
We got one in. We got one in. Okay. Oh gosh. Like I'm literally about to be sweating because I don't want to mess this, this bathroom up. Anyway, okay, so now I'm gonna keep on going. And I'll just scoop my leveler down. All right, I've got all four. I have all four boards up, all four of my vertical boards, thinking it looks pretty good right now. I do think it looks good. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put this horizontal board, and this is also gonna be the board that my hoops will go in. It's actually a really good length for the, or a really good height for the kids. Like I'm very happy with the length that we have. Um, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and nail this on. Right here, you can kind of see where there's a little gap but no need to fear i'm going to just fill that in with a little wood filler or caulk uh, whatever i can find around the house and then you won't even be able to see that seam at all and i'll do that for all the nail holes and in and all the other seams as well so let me go ahead and nail this on and I'm, i think i think i'm going to try to cut the board i'm going to attempt to if i can find a saw um because after that i can go ahead and fill all the holes and while that's drying i can run to the store and get the paint that i want to use because we have a small we have a small can of white paint that will it matches all the other trim in the house but i don't think that it's enough and it, it might actually be because it's not a huge space but I just don't want to run out and then not be able to go get the same one. So I'm going to go get a small, uh, you know, like a decent size can of paint. And then that way we'll just have extra white around here anyway. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and nail this one in. And then I'm going to go attempt to cut the board. Let me make sure this thing is level first. Uh, let's see. Work. It's leveler is so finicky. All right. Let me go cut this board and then we'll be right back. All right, we're back and I have the piece to finish this top border off. I need to check and make sure that it's a level before I do anything. Like hammering it or, you know what I mean, <laughs> nailing it. This is going to be interesting because this, like I said before, this same leveler here, we have been having it out. So, let's see. Let's see if I can get it. On something over here. Probably have to use this again. Still not tall enough. Oh my gosh. That is still not tall enough. Why? Why not? Why are you not tall enough? Yeah. 
All right, so I'm going to quickly go ahead and fill in all the nail holes and any gaps that we have, and then we'll head out to the store. we are back at it now well, I'm back at it so I already went to the store um, I got a shelf which I already opened I just got this one from Target so I'm gonna go ahead and put that up because my spackle is still drying in a few places so I'm gonna let that dry completely before I get to painting so hopefully by the time I put the shelf up it'll be good to go um, Cause really, that's the only thing I need to put up. I can probably go ahead and sand down the holes from the towel bar and paint that. Cause I do have some paint left over from there, so I can touch those little spots up. And then hopefully, I'll be able to start working on the the rest of it. But yeah, so I went to Lowe's and I went to target um i couldn't find any artwork that i liked so i had this art rating very warm up here i think i'm gonna turn the air off up there i'll have to turn it back on it's a little warm um so i had this from a bathroom previously i think and it kind of pulls out some of the colors that are in there shower curtain the light pink greens and the blues so i think this will look cute even if it's not permanent it'll be something cute to go up here in the meantime so i'm just gonna put that up i'm trying to debate if i want to do it over the shelf or if i want to put it somewhere else um i don't know we'll see once i get this spackled and everything <clears throat> and get the hooks up oh i did get the hooks as well which i think i left those downstairs um, I couldn't find any at Target that I liked, so I got some from Lowe's. They were actually cheaper at Lowe's, um, by like three dollars or so. So, and I think it's gonna be really cute in here. Um, I did get black because the shelf has black, so I kind of wanted to pull in a little bit more of the black elements. I don't know. The sink right now is still silver, and then the towel bar. It's still silver and if I had thought about it I could have just gotten the same thing and I might go back and get it so that the towel bar and the um, and the towel hooks actually match because I think that would be cuter than the round one so now that I'm thinking about that I may go back out and get those but in the meantime we're about to go ahead and try to figure out how to put these shelves together or this shelf together I just got one because the bathroom isn't huge um, so I didn't want to overcrowd it, overwhelm it, but I think it's going to be really cute once we get done. So let's go ahead and try to put this together. Um, again, another task that I really haven't tried to do without Evan. So there's a couple of things that I'm not great at. And that would be hanging curtains and putting up shelves <laughs> because i've tried before but somehow i always like jack the anchor up so i'm really hoping that i don't this time so we'll see we'll see all right I did, I kind of wanted to do floating shelves, but then when I saw these, I thought that these were cute too. So, it's just, they just slide on here and then you screw them into the bottom.
now that the shelf is put together i'm gonna go ahead and use my leveler which i've been fussing with the whole time that i've been doing this project i'm gonna go ahead and use the leveler to ensure that the shelf is level and i'm just using the screws to mark the holes where i need to go ahead and insert the screw to hang the shelf <laughs> Now I did run into, I'm not going to say an issue, but there was a stud behind one of the places that I marked and I was not aware of that before I started drilling. So while trying to put the anchor in, um, I actually kept hitting the stud. So I just got rid of the anchor on that one side and went straight into the stud, which it didn't really cause any issues. It still went in fine and the shelf was holding up perfectly fine. directly into the wall for that one but I do have the anchor in this one so that's how fine I will um, I'm not putting anything too heavy up there so it should be fine anyway uh, okay so now I'm oh, sorry I'm knocking y'all all around I want to try to go ahead and start sanding now uh, like I said I was going to sand these these marks from where the um from where the towel bar were and so i'll go ahead and sand that down and then i'll probably start sanding here as well as you, as you can see or you might be able to see you may not be able to on camera it's still a little pink left in there but if i get it down to a thinner coat then it should be a little bit easier for it to dry so i'm just using some um p60 gator the gator sand paper hopefully it's not too harsh i just kind of grabbed what i saw the wall is textured anyway so i don't need it to be perfectly smooth but i don't want it to be completely clumpy either okay
guys so I took a little break um, while I let that dry and now I'm going to go ahead and vacuum up everything that I sanded which is a lot um, <laughs> yeah well actually I'm going to finish sanding first there was like one little spot that I still needed to do and I am so not upset but I'm like disappointed because we don't have the wall color we have the interior trim we have the exterior we have the exterior trim but we don't have the inside color so i'm gonna have to either look on like the design specs and see if i can figure out what color paint we have i know it's more than likely some sure williams paint but for right now i'm probably just gonna wipe off as much of the excess as i can to try to minimize it i'm so so in the way right now. So I wanna clean up a little bit. There is a lot. I'm gonna do just a little bit of sanding. Yeah, I'm kinda sad about that. Because <laughs> I really wanted it to be, you know, completely done, but whatever. I'll figure it out. So this was the piece that I needed to wait to dry a little bit more. And now I think that's actually good. So I'm going to finish vacuuming up this mess. Oops. Whoa. <laughs> I'm going to vacuum all that up. And then we'll get started painting. painted this side yet but I have painted all the rest of them so everything has the initial first coat I'm gonna go back over it I'll paint this one and then I'm gonna touch up anything um, I did find my big roller so that has helped a lot because it was going a lot slower uh, but I didn't want to show the process of me painting because it's just someone painting Oh, so okay, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this off and then I'll probably do a little second coat, touch things up as needed. Along with painting the accent wall, I did go ahead and paint the baseboards as well, just so that everything was all nice, bright, and white.
Okay, so the paint has dried now. Now I'm going to go ahead and install the hooks that I got from Lowe's. So doesn't look too complicated. I shouldn't have to anchor because I have the this thick piece of wood right here. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to do this and we'll see how it goes. to be really simple to put up um, right here I'm just putting in the top screw just so I can make sure that everything is level and then I'll go back in and add the second screw in a bit The part that took the longest for me was just using the allen wrench to get that itty bitty screw um, touching the inside of the the bracket I guess um, yeah it took me a minute to get it to figure out the best way to do it but once I did it went along pretty fast And so now I have the board and batten portion up and I have the wall hooks up and the shelf. So tomorrow I'll come back and do the little final touches and we'll be done with their little bathroom makeover. Hello everyone. And so now we are on day two of our bathroom makeover. And this time we get to do the fun stuff. We get to do the decorating. Um, so last night I let the board and batten wall dry um over here you can see not a drastic color difference i don't even know if you can really see it that well on camera but um this top portion is still the same color as it, the original house came um so i don't remember the name of it i know it's by sherwin williams but i really can't remember the name of it so if i do remember it i'll drop it down in the description or flash across the screen if not then Hopefully I can figure it out later. Um, and then I use Extra White by Sharon Williams here on the board and batten. Um, so yeah, everything is all nice and dried. I'm really loving how it came out so far. Yeah, really loving how it came out so far. Um, but now we get to do some decorating and not like very extensive decorating because remember we're still doing this on a budget. Um, so yesterday I went to Target and I picked up a few things. Um, and then I also went to Lowe's and picked up the hooks. So I picked these up from Lowe's. Um, then I picked up a, a little plant because this bathroom doesn't have any window windows in it. So no natural light. So I couldn't put any real plants in here, unfortunately. So next best thing is artificial <laughs> and then I also picked up these little jars I thought they was would be cute for their um, for their q-tips and their cotton balls so I'm gonna put that in here and then they already had some stuff in here so really that's it so I also have this picture 
that I mentioned yesterday, I believe. I'm going to go ahead and hang that in here too. I think that'll be really cute. Um, eventually, I may get something to go along with this. So either try to find a print similar to this or just pick another few pictures to go up here. So I'm thinking of maybe trying to do three. But for right now, we're just going to do this one. And I'm doing it over trying to be in the middle so it'll kind of be in between the two hooks the only reason i'm hesitant about that is because their bathroom door is open majority of the time so if i go and put it right here then it looks like it's in the middle of the three hooks so i'm kind of going back and forth but i think i'm just going to put it in between these two hooks and leave it like that We'll see what it looks like. But anyway, so I had this picture hanging up in our guest bath bathroom oh, like two houses ago. Um, so I decided to pull it back out and let it come in to their bathroom. So I think we're going to get started doing our little decorating. They are kids. It's a kid's bathroom. They don't need a whole lot of stuff in here anyway because why? They'll just make it dirty. So... Wanted to give them a little cute bathroom without adding a whole bunch of additional stuff that they'll have to deal with. So I'm going to hang the picture and then do the finishing touches and we will be all done. I do have to take a moment and shout out my baby girl because she's the one that put the candle and flower on their shelf um, these were things that they already had in the bathroom and when I came in there that morning she had already went ahead and decorated the shelf so I did not change her design
Cause I'm paid Remember the time that you're